Well, hello once again, web travelers. This is Steve of the Desert Wasteland. And I am doing a follow-up to our little paint job going on around here in this sleazy apartment building that I live in that they want almost a thousand a month for. Um, let's see, where should I start? I'm under the weather today. I've, I've had terrible nausea. I made an appointment with the doctor to come in and talk about this nausea and feeling of fatigue all the time. It's just, I mean, I really can't get much done. There must be something wrong. Oh, man, you know, I can't check, you know, my blood uh, to see if there might be something in it. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but anyway, that's one thing. And then there's this good pet food. Another good one to buy for your pets under this brand, and I highly recommend it, and I'll tell you why. If your cat is getting the runs from Friskies and Nine Lives and other brand cat foods, you notice that they have diarrhea. It's because of that dry food. And I know because I watch my, I mean, that's all really I have to do 24-7 besides tend to my health. Uh, the cat kept having diarrhea all the time and then, then when I bought him this which is a, a kind of a good health product it, it's got all natural stuff in it no fake grains and and um, meals and corn and, and you know filler stuff and it's true the blue product is good because he hasn't he has had a firm stool ever since I've been feeding him. So that's a good thing because when an animal has diarrhea, they're sick. And it'll just keep getting worse. And he looks good. His fur is sticking up nice and, and um, I've been brushing him and he's happy and he's, you know, his stool in the box. I notice because I scoop the box every day. I know, gross, but that's how I do for my cats. I like them to be clean. After all, you know, with your hand here, you're petting your pet, right? So, it's like then they're jumping up on your furniture and everything too so that's the, the wise thing to do is to keep the cat box you know sifted so they don't step all over their refuse and then you brush them to get that dust out from that that litter and you try to pretend that you are the cat okay try now we're not talking about dogs dogs everybody takes out and walks them cats are a little different and um, I love them. They're very, very unusual and interesting little creatures. I've had them all my life. I like dogs too, don't get me wrong. Man's best friend, protect me and stuff. And that's all good and stuff. But I, I don't know, there's something fascinating about a cat. So now let's take a look out in the hallway. And see the paint job. They finished the paint job. Yeah, they did. Look. Let's see, let's see if they finished the, they were supposed to. Okay, so like I showed you yesterday, they've got the light on here and they didn't replace the plastic cover. But yeah, that brown paint looks, got a white ceiling and brown walls and that nasty, ugly blue carpet. Look at that horrible thing that people let their pets piss and shit all over. But look, so it's... The same color brown paint is in my apartment, you guys. Isn't that just fantastic? Look, white and brown. It looks pretty good, I say. Not bad for a slum. So, um, anyway, let's see. What am I going to show you? Here, the sun's shining on it right here so you can see. And then if you look, I guess they're gearing up to try to sell the joint because whenever they start fixing the place up, they start painting it. But see outside, there's the color of the new the building, the, the new color. It's kind of like a military. You know, in many ways that brown looks just like this brown on the on the on the inside. But yeah, it's a kind of a military kind of a green color. See? The sun has come out though and it's melted all the frost that was all over everything. It was really cold. But anyway, so that's the colors that they picked for the apartment. Um, they leave the door open to brown, you know, so the, the air will dry the paint. There won't be a paint smell. Considerate thing to do. 
but uh, yeah so anyway uh, the paint job in uh, the building does in fact look a lot better than it did it didn't look so crummy the only thing they need to do is to fix that floor I don't, I don't know what they're gonna do but see they they're always you know they're doing they do stuff for for different reasons and they're probably trying to get you know cuz they they sent me a letter telling me to get all the stuff off my porch that only they they threatened to evict me in this letter i had the the uh, storage bin over there in the corner and i had uh, some uh cat litter out here on the porch and they sent me this nasty vicious letter to a good paying customer for six years that's how stupid they are you know uh, that you know that they'll evict you if you don't take the stuff off your porch that's not how you behave these these people in these offices they're they're low life usually underpaid low life low paid uneducated people that don't know what the fuck they're doing most of the time and they hassle people that are good tenants that are good renters and uh, they, they seem to get off they have nothing better to do with their time than to hassle people you know especially people that are paying a grand a month for a shithole because you can slap all the paint you want on this fucking place and there's still gonna be cockroaches here cockroaches ants spiders and they don't do a goddamn thing about it. The, the, the exterminator guy hasn't been here since the beginning of December. So you can put all the paint on it you want. And it's still going to be a shithole. Okay? And that's the story. Looks okay, but it's a shithole. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, and we'll leave the door open. I know I sound a little cranky. But I am cranky because, you know, I'm going to have to move. They're forcing me out by continually jacking the rent up. They're, you know, and I'm a good tenant. I don't make any noise. I pawned Mark's stereo that he, that he left me when he died. That big 500, well, that goddamn, that thing was $500, but to just turn it up a little bit in the, hall, the wall shake, it was, so I pawned it. I had no money. And one time, and I pawned the fucker because I never listened to it. But you know they're gonna keep raising the rent, so I'm gonna lose a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna have to give a lot of stuff away to the charity, and and so that I can travel light. Uh, but that's I'll figure something out there. Right now, I don't feel so hot today. What? You're not getting any wet food. Now we'll come in here into the bedroom because. Um, it's it's a a cold day, and I haven't I like I told you guys I've been feeling nauseous. So um, look at all those pills. Look, Isn't that awful. More in that box back there, if you can see. I really got to clean this mess up. But man, I just don't feel like it, and. The arthritis hurts, and I mean, I'm not even 60, and I feel like I'm 100. But, it, you know, this, this is the kind of stuff that happens to some people. They get hit early. And uh, maybe I'm not meant to be 100 years old. Maybe I'm not meant to be on Earth that long, you know. It's just, it's a possibility, right? Um, that's, that's okay, though. I've had fun. And I've had some bad times. And I've had some good times, and I met some nice people, and I met some shit people, you know. And uh, overall, though, if I had a chance to do it all over again, I wouldn't. I would definitely change stuff, you know. But that's that's another story. Uh, I've got to get this online stuff. Okay, well, uh, uh, happy mid midweek hump day, and thanks for watching my videos and and joining me in my journey uh, the struggle life journey you know that is an incentive alone take a look at me and my troubles keep your weight down don't 
don't get around people that make you abuse you and make you feel bad about yourself and keep your weight down like I said uh, get a good job and hang on to it and 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 don't put up with any bullshit even if it means being a recluse because you'll have a much better life if you follow those those rules okay and that's it I don't know when I'm gonna make another uh, video um, I may just disappear from the world altogether I may just suddenly just disappear somewhere